Hello guys, today in this video here we will be taking a look at the Philips Extreme Ultinon uh, H1 socket bulb. Uh, I'm not sure when this was released but at least the H4 and H7 I believe was released last uh, fall but this maybe was released this summer or so. Uh, this is a H1 socket, they claim up to 200% more light and it's a 5800 Kelvin bulb and as we can see it's not ruled legal as there's no LED or xenon replacements for reflectors that are uh, legal at least in Europe and I would guess not in um, United States as well and probably uh, not any other place in the world uh, other place in the world as well. So up to 200% more overall light. It's not like longer light. I would assume that when we're just looking at this. Up to 6,800 Kelvin which is almost pure white and they say the lifetime of these bulbs are up to 12 years which is maybe not true but they will uh, outlast most kinds of bulbs. So making a good H1 LED bulb is hard because uh, H1 bulbs are really small and uh, for making a good LED bulb you need some good cooling and therefore you tend to need to have a bigger construction uh, in itself. So here we have just one of the bulbs and as we can see it's a fairly thin construction which is very good for the beam pattern and uh, because you really want to have it as thin as possible so it mimics the tungsten coil in the halogen bulb because that will give a better beam pattern if uh, the size of the LEDs are like almost the coil in the halogen bulb but when you're having a thin construction like this you need better materials <clears throat> and also design and also you can't really put too much power into it otherwise uh, you can't get the heat away and therefore a lot of other makes it much thicker because they can't get the heat away and they can't make it as thin uh, looking at the LEDs, we can see it uses six uh, Philips LumaLeds set ES uh, LEDs. Uh, I actually thought that the new series of these LED bulbs would use the same kind of LEDs, but I believe uh, there are some differences between the bulbs. So this bulb here uses the old Philips set ES uh, diodes and some of the other newer or other kind of sockets use more of a module and the only downside with these LEDs they are not the most powerful and you can see there's three of them and uh, these needs to be placed as close to this, uh, each other as they can and also there will be a little bit of space between every LED which can give some like uh, black patterns into the beam pattern because we like have three smaller spots lighting it up but otherwise uh, these are high quality LEDs good performance and uh, uh, you can't really put a high performance chip on this bulb anyway because you're really limited with the cooling I believe uh, and these are automotive grade LEDs which you find in a lot of other OEM products as well uh, this bulb here is actively cooled which I think is great lifetime maybe goes down but a high quality fan will give you a long lifetime anyway uh, it makes for a smaller construction and you can also um, have good performance out of it. I was wondering previously why there were two wires coming out of all of the uh, Philips products but it's a good way for them to others have a loose socket so you like insert that first and then the bulb construction. With the Philips bulb you take off the fan 
and therefore you of course need to have a loose wire for the fan. So I have to turn it a lot. So you like insert the bulb into the socket and clamp it down and such and then you install the fan on the back side. And all of these are machined aluminium fields, great quality. Uh, and then you can adjust the beam pattern but it should be good as is. I don't see why we would need to change that anyway. The bulb then plugs into this driver. Uh, this is probably not CAN bus um, uh, compatible because the power of this is fairly low and uh, there's no like internal resistors in this one. So it says 20 watts which almost all like good quality Philips or built with those same LEDs use and you will probably have up to uh, 1600 to 2000 real lumens from each bulb. And the driver is fairly small and you get the H1 socket, you can probably... Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work for all kinds of um, uh, sockets that you plug it into, but you will probably find a way. And then you just plug these two wires into the bulb. And this here is very small, so it fits in a lot of smaller headlights as well. So I tested the LED bulb against a standard H1 halogen bulb 55 watts in a extra driving beam uh, halogen reflector, uh, which is or got like the same beam pattern as your standard high beam in your car, which is gonna give a fairly accurate reading of the difference of brightness and such. And here we can see the halogen it tends to be a little bit yellow and it's not really too much light. And then here we have the extreme ultanon. Uh, it's not like a huge upgrade, but you get a more whiter light, which is good for nighttime dra driving. Uh, and also you get some more weaved uh, or you get a wider light and also a little bit more light in the center and on top and bottom. So I then measured the brightness in each of these black dots with a lux meter and we can see that overall uh, you get a lot more width uh, to the light up to 50% uh, brighter on the sides and in the center it's brighter but not uh, as much compared uh, to the sides and that is because it's really hard to make a um, small and bright LED bulb uh, which is necessary to focus more of the light in the center. It's maybe hard to tell on the picture here but the hotspot and such is in the center and uh, yeah it's also harder to like. You need much more light to have a much brighter hotspot. Uh, but uh, after uh, measuring in each of these black uh, dots here I just tried to find each of the hot spots. Uh, it's not really centered right around the black dot in the middle, but finding the hot spot maybe a little bit off centered. Uh, I then calculated the beam range of this light and 0.25 lux. Uh, that is um, the same kind of light that you will have from a full moon enough to read the newspaper barely. So uh, the throwing distance of the LED bulb is 502 meters with 0.25 lux and if you are interested in the 1 lux reading you can just divide uh, that number by 2 so 251 meters. But 502 meters 0.25 lux that was 38 meter longer compared to the halogen. But keep in mind, um, a two times brighter LED bulb won't double uh, 
or a two times brighter light even if we would put in a halogen bulb here would not throw two times as long uh, to double the beam distance uh, with the same same kind of setup I think you need uh, four times as much light and it like uh, grows exponentially or something like that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and found it a little bit helpful. Ask questions if you have anything that I didn't mention in this video.